So if you haven't heard, Podium now works for Mac and PC with SketchUp 6 and 7. Let's talk a little bit about the Podium 1.6 interface. If you're familiar with Podium, not much has changed on the outside. The Render, Stop, and Save buttons will start, stop, and save your render when you want. Podium will automatically save your render when the render has completed. Podium 1.6 supports multi-threading, so the more cores you have, the faster your renders will be. Podium also supports transparent PNGs to replace clip maps. Next is the preset dropdown. From the dropdown, you can select different XML files with different rendering parameters. If you know what you're doing, you can create your own XML files for Podium to use as presets. If you search our forums, you can also find XMLs created by users. The first preset is default. Default is the best tuned XML for the current version of Podium. By best tuned, I mean the default preset will work well for a variety of scenes, day, night, exterior, interior, etc. The noisy setting is a special setting that will render almost indefinitely and gets better the longer you render. In fact, you have to wait quite a while to even get a presentable render. The noisy setting is ideal for exterior renders. If you are having problems with light leaks, the noisy setting will get rid of them. The old 1.5 setting is for those that like how 1.5 renders looked, but want the functionality of Podium 1.6. The quality setting has quality above what is possible with the default setting. As you will come to know, higher quality comes at the sacrifice of longer rendering times. As with the noisy setting, good things come to those who wait. Adding light or reflection to a face is very simple with Podium. Simply select the face you want to add a light or reflection value to, and then use the light or reflection sliders to give a value to that face. We will explain these sliders a little bit more in other tutorials. The last function on the main Podium interface is the preview box. Checking the preview box allows you to view the preview window to see how your render is coming along. If you don't see your whole render in the preview box, don't panic. The real-time render progress in the preview box is a fixed resolution at the lowest output resolution of Podium. A full-size snapshot of your render progress can be viewed by clicking within the preview window. Click again inside the snapshot you open to close it, or click the X button to close the preview window. Uncheck the preview box to hide the preview window. To view the rest of Podium's functions, Click the button at the top right resembling a play button. First on the list is render size. A variety of preset rendering resolutions are listed along with viewport resolution. Viewport resolution will output a render that is the exact size in pixels as the viewport of SketchUp. In general, an increase in render size will increase the render time. The render all scenes function allows you to open a file with a series of scenes and render them all in one click. For a more in-depth explanation, see the tutorial video for Render All Scenes. Next we have the Settings menu. Selecting Settings brings up a whole new window for you to play with. The Speed and Quality slider sacrifices speed in order to make a higher quality render. The Jaggy Smooth slider sacrifices smooth edges for faster rendering times. If you're just testing the render to see if you have the proper setup, set both sliders all the way to the left. If you want high quality, set the sliders all the way to the right. There are three output types to choose from. There's JPEG, PNG, and HDR. You can manually enter a directory or hit the Browse button to select a directory you want Podium to save your renders to. This concludes our tour of Podium 1.6.